What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, we got another fun one for you. Uh, one that, that I have been, I've really been uh, thinking about and processing. Guys, do you want to see more Mego TV show action figures? That's that's the that's the question. Would you like to see more Mego TV shows? Between the first and third waves of Migos' really uh, return back to the uh, to the toy community, we saw a lot of TV shows. Um, some that were not well received, uh, others that were a little bit more well received. And we had a lot that, you know, had some mixed emotions. But we're, we're, I, I'm torn in a sense because I, I, I see both sides. I've, I've heard a lot of positives and I've heard a lot of negatives uh, in regards to uh, Migo really producing a lot of these uh, 1970 and 1980 TV shows, uh, Mego figures. The popular or the more consistently popular um, understanding or, or theory for why Mego created a lot of these TV shows was because of Target's uh, pressure or uh, Target's uh, influence over those first three waves. I, I don't know if there's, or I should say uh, how much, I don't know if there's, you know, how much truth um, there is to that. I, I'm I'm not I'm not certain. So I, I can't say how valid that is. I'm sure I, I'm sure Target had some say so, especially during those first three waves of what TV shows and TV series they will they wanted to see uh, Migo produce. We want your thoughts and your opinions on if uh, Migo were to start producing hit TV shows again and, and making um, Migo figures from hit TV shows, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, what type of TV shows would you want to see? Um, I heard some good ones uh, reading some comments at, in another one of our videos uh, that we made earlier this weekend. Um, everything from Miami Vice... Uh, to the monsters of uh, things of that nature. If you had to have Migo produce more TV show action figures, Migo figures, what would you want? And in all honesty, You know, I've heard a lot of negative talk about facts of life, uh, the charm, happy days, the uh, Brady Bunch, Charlie's Angels, 
and uh the cheers cheers series but I mean, I, I I was cool with it. Uh, guys, I was, you know what? And I have to always take myself out of this equation as a, a museum curator and a collector and an owner of a museum who's trying to preserve uh, the toy lines and toy companies that produce these these action figures and toy lines. So I have to kind of take myself out of that equation of, of the of this topic because it's all history to me. I mean, these figures, you'll never see these figures again. I mean, I believe uh, 10,000 were produced. So you won't you you'll never see these figures produced produced again. Not not on this level. So I have to really take myself out of the equation. It's not a matter of uh, whether Migo did a good job in producing these figures. I believe they did a fantastic job in producing these figures. The question is, um, did we want to see these particular TV shows uh, immortalized as Mego action figures? The Phoebes and the Prues of the world, the Richie Cunninghams and the Chachis of the world. Did we want to see these as some of Migo's first renderings with their return. And did you want these as TV shows um, that you wanted immortalized as Migo's? The Sabrina Duncan figure, uh, surprisingly, was very quite popular. Uh, just for me, just talking and interviewing um, Mego collectors, and a lot of it had to do with her choice of firearm. As you can see, her firearm compared to to Chris Monroe's firearm, regular pistol, standard pistol here. But Sabrina Duncan's pistol was fantastic, and and this figure really got a lot of talk because we thought that there would be a Blade Runner. Mego two pack set, and we thought this pistol had a lot to do with it. We want your thoughts. We want your. We want your opinions on this topic of discussion here at the museum. I'm curious to know how you feel about it. Let us know what you think, your opinions, right underneath this video in a comment section. How many of these figures uh, do you have in your collection? One, two, three, four, five, six. I couldn't get all of these figures. We have the pretty much all of the TV shows figures in our collection. I just couldn't get them all on the uh on the stage so facts of life was left out and a few others but we felt that this was enough these are some of my favorite ones i have up here do you have any of these in your collection do you feel as though migo Shouldn't have produced these figures. What's your thought on the target possible or alleged target decision to have Mego 
produce these figures. And now a lot of these figures are peg warmers. Um, they're at discount prices at discount stores all across the country with little to no fanfare for these figures. Honestly, how many of these figures do you have in your collection? I, will lo I would love to know if you have someone has Phoebe Hollywell. I have her. Or Prue Hollywell. These are the burning questions, guys. I mean, there's so many uh, uh, avenues we can go down, so many back roads we can take uh, with this topic of discussion. But I, I just I want to try to keep it as basic as possible um, so we don't really lose sight of what the, the primary discussion is. And that's A, what type of TV shows if Mego were to produce more action figures from TV shows, what would you like to see those TV shows be? And B, how do you feel about the first three waves of Mego's TV show action figures, Mego figures? Did you like them? Did you wish that Migo didn't even think about producing them? What's your take? That's the burning question. That's the million dollar question that we have today. Move these guys out the way so you can get a good shot of these guys. You know, another question or another um, situation that I heard a lot of um, the older collectors talking about was... The fact that a lot of these TV shows were just simply too dated, uh, out of style. So a lot of the younger demographic um, simply just wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be appealing to them. You know, I've always been under the impression that, you know, in my, my mind, these Mego figures, this retro style um, age that we live in. It was really for kids of the 70s, 60s, 70s, early 80s that grew up with a lot of this nostalgia uh, with these TV shows, these characters, actors, actresses. So I always thought it was for more for collectors anyway. I never thought that um, not too many kids were going to be drawn to uh, Charlie's Angels and uh, Happy Days, uh, Charmed, The Brady Bunch, Cheers. That was always my my thinking on that. But that's me. That's that's the way I see it. We want your opinion. Did Migo get it right uh, with the first three waves of producing these these uh, TV show? Mego figures, uh, did they or could they have picked some better TV shows that you might have, uh, that the majority of the collector com collecting community would have liked? And if they had it to do it all over again, what TV shows 
in the future would you like to see me go produce? Those are our questions for today, guys. Now we just need the answers. You know the routine, guys. God bless. And keep collecting.